Imagine walking into your dream job interview feeling confident, staying composed throughout, and leaving with a sense of accomplishment. Anxiety can often disrupt this ideal scenario. In this video, we will dive deep into managing interview anxiety at every stage, before, during, and after the interview. Why is this so important? Because mastering your nerves is key to unlocking your full potential and making a lasting impression. Ready to minimize anxiety and ace your next interview? Let's embark on your journey to interview success. The first step is to get a little more cozy with the data that we have available to us. These are the pre-interview steps that will help you remove anxiety. Step one, research the company. Start by familiarizing yourself with the culture, mission, and values. Building a connection with these items will be the first anxiety reducing step. Next, spend some time on the company's careers page and career resources if they have them. Try and see if you can recognize any themes and utilize any helpful hints. Next, look at the company's products and services. Sometimes companies will test your knowledge on these items and being prepared to discuss these items can also remove anxiety. Next, let's focus on trending items what's happening in the news, looking at their social media, and searching for any recent presentations or keynote speeches. Your network can also be powerful. Utilize LinkedIn to see if you can connect with any former classmates, colleagues, family members who are currently working at the company. Reach out and see if they can provide you with any guidance or advice. This is really for people you know. You can always do cold reach outs, but it's probably gonna be a little bit less effective. Glassdoor and Team Blind. These are two great resources for finding potential interview questions and overall best practices. Remember, you can research endlessly, but it's a great foundational place to start. Familiarity is a key to stress reduction. Step two, the job description. Utilize ChatGPT for a simple step that will be a game changer in your interview prep. Simply paste the job description and your resume into ChatGPT and ask the tool to identify all the themes that best align between your career and the job description. Copy and paste these concepts into a Google Doc to revisit. This is also a best step for creating role-specific practice questions. Huge tip, when you ask ChatGPT to create hypothetical and behavioral job interview questions based on the job description, you need to remind ChatGPT Hypothetical questions need to be hypothetical, not behavioral. It will guarantee that you actually get hypothetical questions. Step number three, common answer prep. Now that we have a little bit better understanding of both the company and the job description, it's time to start doing some basic prep to tackle questions like, tell me about yourself, <clears throat> why this company, etc. These questions can create anxiety because they often come in the beginning of the interview and we know that creating a great first impression is really important. Utilize the themes from your resume and job description to start creating sample answers to these questions. These questions at their foundation are truly about role alignment. So think of a rule of three and when you practice these types of questions, try to create answers that are one minute or less. Step four, behavioral answer prep. Let's go right back to ChatGPT to help us remove anxiety. Paste your resume into ChatGPT and ask, what are the examples from my resume that I should be highlighting in the job interview? The ones that ChatGPT identifies or highlights should be your starting point. I've seen so many of my clients remove anxiety and have great results with these answers by following these steps. First, just give each example a simple title something that you will remember. Next, in a Google Doc, write down the major actions you personally took in that example from beginning to end. Think chronologically and just think in terms of what you did. And lastly, think at a high level. This is just starting to get our actions down. Next, think about building a simple context for what happened and making sure the background information is simple and clear. This is our first run at creating the situation and task. Then think about what were the great results from the work you did. Think of the overall impact, numbers, and repeatability. Now, this is your first run at results. Now I want you to go back to your actions, 
now that we have a brief overview of all those other items, and it's time to bolster your what's with how's. How did you go about achieving your what's? Then you're going to go back and repeat this for all your best examples. And of course, with all behavioral answers, you're going to need to continue to fine tune. These answers should be about three to four minutes long. And fine tuning these answers is guaranteed way to overcome anxiety in the job interview. Behavioral questions are the most likely to be asked questions in any interview at any company. Step five, hypothetical answers. Yep, you guessed it. <clears throat> we are going right back to ChatGPT. Generative AI tools like ChatGPT are going to speed up your prep time significantly. And the impact, when we get more time back, will have anxiety reduction. So let's take a look at those hypothetical questions that ChatGPT created from the job description. Part of your hypothetical answer practice is starting to see the themes and creating baseline go-to strategies. Four recommendations. Ask ChatGPT to ask some clarifying questions to those hypothetical questions. Clarifying questions in an interview can narrow the focus of your answer and get you aligned with the interviewer's preferred path. Then ask ChatGPT to create a simple outline of the most important concepts you would likely focus in on in your answer. This is our framework. And again, we're just taking these questions that they created to just see what it looks like. Then follow up by asking for some role specific assumptions. It's building off of that job description. This will help us start to assume what we need to solve for in the specific job we're interviewing for and help us go in with pre-planned assumptions. In my opinion, this is probably the biggest anxiety reducer for these types of questions when we have some pre-planned assumptions. Lastly, Ask ChatGPT to take all those items and create a strong solution and or solutions based on one framework concept or multiple framework concepts. The goal of the hypothetical prep is to understand the basics of how to tackle questions that are really problem solving focused and navigating ambiguity focused. There's really no defined timeline for these answers. The clarifying part really depends on your interviewer. The framework and assumption should be about 30 seconds each and each solution, you may have multiple solutions, cap it at about two minutes. Step six, our cheat sheet. It's 2024 and still for the most part, we're still interviewing via video. Take advantage with a cheat sheet. What goes on the cheat sheet? For common questions, it can simply be writing those themes at the very top of your doc just to stay connected to the question. Then write down your go-to clarifying questions, write down your go-to frameworks, and then the big one, your pre-planned assumptions. Lastly, those titles that you created for your behavioral answers, put those just those titles on the cheat sheet so you can reference your best examples without in the moment forgetting your best examples. Step seven, you probably guessed it was coming, practice interviews. The biggest reason why most job interview candidates have anxiety is because they haven't practiced their answers. Practice your answers time and time again. This can be done by speaking out loud, recording yourself, using a practice interviews AI tool, <clears throat> And of course, by practicing with another human. If you decide to practice with another person, create the same physical setup you would use on the day of your interview. Stumble, fumble, mess up, start over. Getting these practice answers out will be the best thing you can possibly do to remove anxiety before the interview. Step eight, your questions. We should never hang, have anxiety if we're asked if we have any questions at the end of the interview pre-planned questions to ask and you can literally have them written down or typed out and tell your interviewer you are referencing your list okay now we've done some of the pre-planning let's just move into the pre-interview logistics step one schedule the day off of work if at all possible to create the best outcomes take the day off of work whenever possible i understand that this is simply not an option for everyone but do it if possible Step number two, your outfit. Have what you're going to wear decided on, iron and laid out the night before. We don't want to have any anxiety about this item on the day of. Always tackle this the day before. 
Step three, a good night's sleep. The night before the interview, don't prep too late, go to bed early, no caffeine later in the day, and I recommend no alcohol the day before the interview as well. If anything, get to bed early. Step four, on the day of food and coffee, no heavy foods on the day of your interviewer, on your on the day of your interview, that's just going to wear you down. And if you drink coffee, make sure not to overdo it on the day of your interview. Caffeine is a major anxiety booster if you have too much caffeine. So on your interview day, think a little bit less is more. Step five, setup. Now we're about one hour before the interview. Make sure your setup is perfect. You have the right lighting, the right background, the right camera angle. You have your cheat sheet. You have a blank piece of paper with at least two pens in case one dies and a full glass of water. You've double trapped, checked, triple checked that Wi-Fi is working well. And everyone in the house, including your dog, knows to be quiet. Maybe you even put a sticky note on the door to your apartment or house that says, important job interview, please do not disturb. You ideally have tested this setup before, but just double check everything and get it perfect one hour before. Step six, bathroom. I know this is obvious, but it is important. About 10 minutes before your interview, double check your hair, your teeth, your outfit, and actually go to the bathroom. Step seven, meditation. So we're going to take a step back. This is 30 minutes out. Science tells us that our brain has a limited capacity to perform at a high level for long periods of time. A half hour before your interview, throw on some headphones or buds and some meditation music and start preparing. This last minute prep will not help you. It will hurt you. In this time, start to chill out, start bringing in that positive mindset and potentially using positive affirmations as well. And of course, and most importantly, take those deep breaths. These 20 minutes are critical to slow down your heart rate and clear your mind. Now it's time. We've taken that 20 minutes. We've gone to the bathroom. We're two to three minutes early and we hop on the video and let's pivot to the anxiety reducing steps that you should take in the interview. Step one is body language. First impressions matter and having a big smile on your face, good eye contact and having your shoulders back will instantly warm your interviewer up when they hop on the video. You will help to exude confidence by taking these steps and set the right tone for the interview right away and it will make you less anxious. Step two, breathe. Take that calm mindset that you created before the interview and continue to focus in on your breath. People forget to breathe during the job interview. It may even be helpful to put a big sticky note on your computer or somewhere that you can see it that just reminds you, breathe. Step three, listen, write down, and restate the question. Few things create as much anxiety in a job interview as staying connected to the interview question and or starting to answer the question and forgetting what you're answering. The majority of job interview candidates will provide at least one wrong answer because they're answering the wrong question or they're answering an adjacent question during a job interview. Guarantee that you always understand the question. Step four, take your time. After confirming the question, tell your interviewer you are going to take a minute to gather your thoughts. In this time, start ref referencing your cheat sheet to identify either the best behavioral example to use by referencing the list of behavioral example titles and starting to think about Based on the question, what is the context that is needed and where you would want to start your actions to dive into what they're asking? For hypothetical questions, start by asking yourself, what pre-planned assumption or assumptions could I use to start shaping my answer? Then, what go-to clarifying questions might I use and are there any other ambiguities in the question that I might want to uncover? Then, look at your frameworks and think about the concept or concepts that might best apply to this answer and ones that you may want to focus in on in your solution or solutions. This will be a game changer because most of these questions, especially hypothetical questions, people go in without a plan and they try to wing it. Step five, adapting to your interviewer. Throughout, continue to adapt to your interviewer. For example, if they're super engaged, make it more conversational. If they seem to want to move fast, shorten your answers a little bit. 
If they tend to interrupt you, allow them to interrupt and take their preferred path. Adapting to what your interviewer wants will make them less stressed and in turn remove some anxiety for you as well. Step six, bathroom and water. At no point during the interview should you have to go to the bathroom or get water. If you run into this scenario where you are in back-to-back interviews, make sure you tell your interviewer, hey, I've been in back-to-back interviews and I would really appreciate the opportunity to quickly use the bathroom and get more water. Is it okay if I take two minutes to do that? Of course, not every interviewer is going to love this, but nothing will create more anxiety in a poor interview performance than trying to hold it in and or being parched. Post-interview. Surprisingly, after the interview, it can be pretty stressful, sometimes more stressful than before or during the interview. Just that waiting game creates a lot of anxiety. Follow these two simple steps to remove some post-interview anxiety. Step one notes. Ideally, right after your interviewer interviews, you're writing down any notes about your experience with that specific interviewer. You are referencing the questions you were asked and any areas where you could have improved. This is pre-planning for potentially the next interview that's coming up, especially if you have a little break. And it's pre-planning for continued interview success and anxiety reduction for the future because reflecting immediately will carry that positive future impact. Step two, point of contact follow-up plan. This is technically a step that you're going to take before the interviews, but I want to build on it here. Before the interviews, you will ask your point of contact, either the recruiter or the hiring manager, what is the typical turnaround time for interview feedback? You will ask for their preferred method of communication for follow-up, email, text, phone, WhatsApp, etc., And lastly, you will simply tell your point of contact, if I have not heard back from you in five business days, I will proactively check in with you. Pre-planning these steps at least allows you to collect some data and put your point of contact on alert that you are going to stay on top of things. If you follow these 23 steps, you will be guaranteed to have less anxiety during your interviews. I know it's a lot, but stick to the plan and you will crush it. I wish you the best of luck.